Dear Lord, we come here tonight to do our best for our community today. We ask, dear Lord, that you guide us with the decisions that we have to make. Give us the ability to make the right one so that our community can further your cause here on earth. We ask you to be with those that are here tonight and those that are not here for some other reason. We ask you to watch over us, guide, lead, and direct us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Commissioner Robinson thought it would be a good idea to go to Seattle and visit her grandkids for some reason, so she's unable to be with us tonight. But, uh, let's go ahead and get started. First item is approval of minutes. Approve, approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is bills. Make a motion to approve the bill. Second. Whatever. Whoever. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Under old business, new drilling of the new well. Prices set out in it. Uh, the city can uh, can enter off of the property and do whatever they need to do, uh, and then determine what it wants to purchase it. Uh, the initial price that's paid uh, at the time of the execution is included as part. To approve our end, uh, I make a motion. Are, are we ready to go through with this now? I make a motion that we go ahead and accept this draft and for the purchase of the drilling of the new well. I'll second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, seeing if I thigh. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Do we need anything else on the well, Larry? Uh, I mean, Just to the extent you're going to make improvements on it, um, I thought that was included in this. Okay. No, no that, this is for the lease, the purchase of the property. This is a, for the, what? Now, uh, Mayor, also in this, if you look at, I'm sure you've seen it, but the actual plat um, uh, provides for a uh, an easement as well. I didn't attach the plat, but. but uh, That's from the end or the from this unnamed street to Correct. their property. In it. Yeah, Correct. and we agreed to do that. Um, uh, would, would, won't we need to put a name with that? With the street? Yeah. I think so. I think we would need to name it. Does all this have to be done tonight? No. It, uh, it doesn't have to, It obviously doesn't have to be done until they get they get ready. I don't know when they're talking about making the improvements and, and doing the drilling. Hopefully into this month. When? Well, the end of this, this month, month, end of July. 
Well, I guess it, I guess the street it needs to before before we enter onto it. If there's going to be any improvements made on it, uh, I do recommend that that we go ahead and reference the street because it is a city street. I'd reference it as a city street, and whatever improvements, if any, are going to be made on it, be authorized. But I, I agree with the mayor. It, it's, it's not officially been named, and I don't think it should be referenced as an unnamed street. Unnamed street. The, what's the street before it? It comes, it comes off South Mulberry and Hill Street. Oh, it comes off South Mulberry. Yeah. Hill Street, South Mulberry, and the next one up is Chapman Avenue, but it's not near that far up, is it? We can name it Larry Carter Way. No. <laughs> no way. No way. We can just name it Well Street. It's going to have a well on it. And that's it. Would, is, can anything ever be developed off of it? It could be extended out, couldn't it, yeah. for future development? Uh, I was going to say, would anybody have a problem with Overton Drive or Overton Lane? Or like that? Do you think they would have a problem with that? No, I think they'd be fine. Uh, that way we can get it all done tonight. And okay. Need it in the form of a motion. Mm -hmm. I'll make my motion that we reference the street as Overton Lane. And that we are approving and that we are improvements to it. Making improvements. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Uh -huh. aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. So everything's good on it. We've already approved everything else. We've got everything set up for the tech, for the drilling. It's just a matter of getting them in here. So. Okay, under new business, first items, approval res revisions to 14.4 vehicle pursuit policy. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Limiting number of trash bags on the sanitation route. Yeah, something to think about until the next meeting. Uh, we are experiencing high volumes of garbage. We're picking up 68,000 pound a week. Uh, we're pulling up to stops that we're picking up, uh, you know, 15 and 20 bags. Five and six garbage cans, and it, it adds more to the route. 
with this animals or payroll installation it adds more to the landfill bill that's not at a, like an apartment complex no this is a the house these are houses people are staying at home and they're cleaning out like everything they're cleaning well, this out this has been going on for the past 12 14 months oh really it's gotten yeah. worse okay yeah. uh mary i had married call around see what other cities are doing you know some of the cities are doing limits of two garbage cans, two 45 gallon garbage cans. Some are putting limits at five bags. Uh, some say are doing three regular 45 gallon trash cans. We're just, I don't, I don't know what, what all they're throwing away, but it, it's just mounting up. Mm. You know, it used, it used to take us about 14 hours to pick up the, the full route. You know, now we're pushing 17, 18 hours. It's, it's nothing uncommon to pull up to, to a house and have to make two compacts. Hmm. They do what? It's like twice. Twice. Oh, twice. Twice. I mean, it's, it's just, I've got some pictures on my phone I'll show you later and kind of see what we're dealing with. Uh, one city has, has uh, you know, two or three cans maximum, nothing, no bags sitting on the ground. I kind of like that because, you know, if a dog get in the trash and tear it up, my guys are trying to scrape what they can up to throw away. If they're all in cans, we don't have, we don't have to deal with that. What about stuff, and I'm speaking from experience because this happens in my house a lot, what about cardboard boxes and stuff that won't? That's another problem. I mean, you know, we have, we have one house running, he has a business, and we are throwing a lot of his business material away. Uh -huh. uh, that, that's just one instance. But I'm talking about for my wife loves Amazon. <laughs> i tell you what hurt when, when Harper stopped recycling. I mean, we, we yeah. started seeing a higher volume sure. of cardboard. Too bad cardboard doesn't bring anything now. But well, that's why they stopped recycling because yeah. they couldn't. Yeah. So just something to think about. You know, if you don't want to kick it around for a month and maybe discuss it again next next month's meeting. And it would be worth the, if if it will just pay for itself. It would be worth the recycling just to be able to. Are there any cities within driving distance that still do recycling? No. Hmm. So maybe contract with like Central City, Orangeboro, or somebody? Scott was doing cardboard until last year, year before. But, you know, they, they, they had so much, they actually had a store on, on I guess, First Street. And I, I don't know if they were Yeah, I know where they had it stored and it yeah. uh, finally just had to be, he even got rid of his machine. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, I think some cities had a had a fee. <coughs> if, you want, if you want more sanitation picked up, you know there was a larger fee associated with it. Hmm. Business parts one that bothers me a little bit. Do what? The ones where you're actually picking up for a business. There's a difference in a commercial rate, isn't it? Correct. Well, we need to give those, <coughs> those folks a notice that they're, at least give them a notice to get started with, that they're going to have to go to a commercial rate. You know, we, I think we adjusted our rates for last year, year before. We got called somebody who told me to call about that. Yeah, Clancy wasn't doing it, but I was driving the truck that day when mm -hmm. we picked it up, so I know exactly what was there. Did you document it? I did not. My dad's just going to have Mary call up. You know, he, he tried to say, well, I guess when we called him that, he tried to call her hand on water running through his backyard, you know, trying to... Water doing what? Totally different issue to not discuss the sanitation. Hmm. How many commercial accounts do we really have? Five or six, maybe. Yeah, we don't have that many. I didn't think we had very many, so I maybe wonder. You know, we don't, we don't mind picking up the garbage and being paid for it. It's the abundance of it. Do you think people are bringing it in? I know we have junk day they do. Not with the many stops that we're encountering, you know, so much trash. I think, you know, we say it's a household trash. It, it may be a, a garbage bag full of, of a, a dresser torn apart that they're sticking in bag. You know, we're calling that household garbage now. Uh, we, have, we have left beds, we have left couches here in the last six months, you know, because that's a spring and fall pickup day. Uh, it, it's just got to a point that it's overloaded. You know, I, I, I know we just raised the rate a year or two ago, but I, I would hate to have to go back in there and raise again.
to accommodate what we're taking. Just something to think about for the next month. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, next item is to approve uh, to bid out franchise for natural gas. And I really thought the folks from Atmos were going to be here tonight. Not sure what happened to them. But it's, we had a 20 year with them, didn't we? Correct. And it's coming up for renewal, so they met with me to want to start the bidding process. Okay. And I know they gave me some criteria they wanted us to use, which I know Mary has talked to KLC, and I think there's some issues we have to work out there. But I think we can still go ahead and approve this part of it right here to actually bid out the franchise and go ahead and get that process started. So I move to bid out the franchise for natural gas. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Both same. That motion passes. Park signage. Hmm. Is this on the? What you forgot? I'm sorry. Number four. Resolution. Oh no. Right I'm sorry. I, yeah. My glasses are fogged up. It's all right. For the resolution on Rains Avenue correction. Evidently, the after talking with Candy, the first one they are supposed to be the original annexation so i have went back and dug and dug and i think i have found the correct one but my problem with reading these old annexations is i don't know how many times i've seen dredge ditch if anybody can tell me where that's at that might help me some or another issue i'm having with tractor supplies whoever austin taylor was does anybody know who that was i remember i, I remember austin the tax taylor. program goes back to 2008 and it was always junior thompson in city limits and i've even called pda and Tractor Supply took it over in 2015, but it's been on the tax roll ever since 2008 as far as I can go back. So I'm still trying to get that one corrected, but I can't read these descriptions that they've given on these annexations from years ago. So, so on Rains Avenue, we need to know where the dredge ditch? Well, I have seen dredge ditch on probably five or six different annexations. So I, I have no clue where that's at. I've never heard of that. That's evidently way before my time. <laughs> so I didn't know if anybody else would have any. What do you say it was? Uh, They're calling it dredge ditch. Never heard of it. Well, see, there's there's one one that goes this way, and then there's another one that goes this way. I don't know which one it would be. The one that crosses it, and there's one that goes alongside it. I don't know which one it would be that you would call dredge ditch. But I think I found the original, what was it, 1995, or that will cover, because it looks like it was more than just Rains Avenue that the Rains Avenue and Bivens was taken in as one whole at that point in time. The best I can read these descriptions, so I'm hoping this is the one that she's going to need to finally get this one corrected. Okay. If not, I guess I'm digging it in, and we'll start. I can find the original one again. Okay, so you really don't need any. I just need the, this resolution approved. Uh, okay, well, yeah, but that we're accepting this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make a motion we approve that resolution. So a motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same. Motion passes. Now we'll do the discussion on the park signage. Yeah, we uh, caught three individuals trying to uh, get into one of our buildings. And uh, the police department talked to the county attorney, and the county attorney advised it'd be a good idea if we had signage at our park stating when it was open, when it was closed. That way we can prosecute them for trespassing. So the site we have a problem with is over to the other side. So I, I, I don't know what kind of language or, or signage or whatever we need to put up. I thought, you know, we'd run up through the minutes and see what y'all want to want to say. <laughs> AV, can we do something at the, on the amphitheater side first? On it, can we not do something? It, it is it is closed to the public, yes, except, except for a sponsored yes. event. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. that way you don't have to worry about time. There'd be, I don't want to put times on it like we do the other right, because right. they has nobody business over there anytime unless there is an event going on. Okay. I don't know if I put sponsored event. Scheduled event. Scheduled. Okay. 
like the day of scheduled events? I mean, do we need to narrow it down to a time frame? I think the hours of a scheduled event, because day, if you, you don't know 8 a.m. in the morning, they don't need to be there, but that night they might, but the schedule. Yeah, I think I would just put close to the public, ex, uh, uh, except, except for, except during scheduled events, and just kind of, that leaves it a little bit loose. Mm -hmm. Uh, where, you know, if they come in earlier in the day, and I say we close the public, that means we can still be back there working, right. prepping for that event. And well, the only people that need to be back there are the people that need to be working on right, that. Right, exactly. That's it. I mean, I as far as I'm concerned. If we had the signage up, I think we could have charged a little more. So. We did end up charging the, one was uh, 19, the other two was juvenile. Uh, we did end up charging the one with no lawful transaction with a minor times two. Uh, it was a criminal summons that what ended up being taken out to the board. Uh, he hadn't been served yet, so he hadn't had the court date set yet. But uh, they shook the window, they didn't, didn't break the window or anything that time. Mm -hmm. Somebody did twice before, but. Uh, but there's cameras down there. But there's cameras down there. So. If, if he wouldn't turn to see the cameras, we're not sure what he would have done. Do what? If the individual wouldn't turn oh, yeah, the same camera. Oh, yeah, the camera turned the camera. Don't know. Is, is there a sign up at the entrance? No. No. We just closed the gates at something, but we just closed at the amphitheater? Well, no. at the amphitheater, and even coming off 231, no. is there anything that. No. Okay. We just closed, we've got gates up there, and we close them at a certain time and open them at close to a certain time. But I, I want to do something there, too, park hours. The gates may still be open, but the park, you know, park hours are from what we we said five a.m. Five or six. Six, six or whatever people use it, like six a.m. to. I don't know. I wouldn't do nine p.m. I think well, I think the timers on the lights was seventeen. Well, and that's okay. You still have light out there, but well, ten p.m. Except, but then again, ex, except for scheduled events, because like baseball will be will go over right. that. Uh, the amphitheater you have to go through the park to get through, so it'd be over that. But but it we wanted to put specific hours on because yeah. no one has any business being there really between unless Nobody there's something going on. The well, the walk so the people that should be at the amphitheater, where well, I look at it. But the park, huh? But the park itself, the amp walking trail and all that, it'd be open to certain hours. Well, that's what I say. It'd be open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Nobody's gonna be walking at 2 a.m. No. They don't need to be. Hope not. They'd be going. Yeah, they're anything done. you put up is going to assist. Them. Yeah, that's giving them. If somebody is out there at two in the morning, we can add. There's, they're trespassing then. Yeah. So you need to, to do the one by. The I think we do first. two different motions. One with the amphitheater. I make a motion that we close the amphitheater to all <coughs> people except during a scheduled event. Put the signage up for that. Close to the public, or something. We'll write that up. Yeah. Close to public it's, except it's during. Supporting better. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Larry, you going to put some on top of the hill, too? Yeah. The camera, Brooke? The cameras will be on top of the hill. They'll, they'll be, they won't be on top of the hill, but they'll be shining. I'll catch them coming down. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're talking about signage. signage. Put signage yes, up there. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're going to get, get post this. Well, it also needs to be down there on Bruce School Road. Well, that's what yeah, we got to get to case up. Yeah, but that's the sign needs to be. Yeah, that's what we call it. Oh, okay. When you sit at the top of the hill, I'm like, that's. Yeah. 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 I'll probably look at that field over there, too. A lot of traffic comes across that big field. Yeah. Even if you got it by that pile. But that could be, that would be the sign of where the park is closed from. Uh, you need a lot of traffic. Park is on is open from six a.m. That's a separate motion. If you can make somebody make that one to get that one done. On the second one, I did. We already voted on that. Not yeah. the, we did the first. Well, the first one. Well, the second one, I did. I moved to uh, signage up for general park hours. Uh, that's what you need, right? Six a.m. to ten. Ten. Ten p.m. Except for scheduled, scheduled events. events. Is that. We're, do y'all, I'm just throwing this out. Do y'all think it's six o'clock is really early enough? Do you think it might open up my bit back? Well, a lot of people that want to go walk. I, what time do they normally unlock it? They'll unlock it whatever time. I know, but I thought they'd been unlocking it at six. Well, they sort of 
Okay. Well, I thought, really five. That's what we said. Well, I thought five, just because yeah. there's some people that do get out right. walking early. But I, I thought I thought it was six when the. Yeah, right now five's okay, but now winter time it's two hours before it gets daylight yeah. from five to know, seven. You know, be there during that time. <laughs> so I but I'm really not worried about anybody doing any damage at five or even six a.m. in the winter time. Yeah. They're usually going to be there in the middle of the night. The if they're going to do mischief. So. I like the five myself, yeah. just because I think there's a lot of people who would use it. But five, I thought maybe you all were unlocking five, it at five, six, five, so that's where we were. Five to ten. 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Second. I don't know if anybody's second or not. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, sing five. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is approved Kentucky Department for Libraries and Archives grant. You could go and type in Rains. I could just type in whatever keyword. For Rains Avenue, and it would find anything that, Everything. yeah. So that's the two things that we're looking at, um, hopefully to apply for. I got that this, I don't know, week, this week or last week in the Senate because I knew there were some issues coming up with room in the safe, yeah. and, and, I, and I like that deal about the minutes where you can go in with a keyword, too. But we do need to approve a they application. Either. But we need approval to apply for the grant. I make a motion that we approve to apply for a grant, libraries, and archives. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. And number seven is approved to advertise for bids for the grant, <laughs> which is a, we need a separate motion, a motion for this. That but. We are able. Approved to advertise for the grant. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Approve the 2021 motor vehicle watercraft property tax rate. That's that set rate that's every year. I was going to say, that doesn't change. Doesn't change. Yeah. We just have to what approve. Does it say? That moved to approve the 2021 motor vehicle and watercraft property tax rate. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? <clears throat> what is that rate for reference? 24.100 cents per hundred. Okay. And uh, any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is to approve the Arbor Day resolution. This is something we usually do in, actually, in the, probably the April meeting. It's part of the Tree City USA program that we've been involved with for the last four or five years. And, uh, of course, everybody's in the same boat we're in, so what they're doing. And because of the way this uh, Tree City USA program is set up, it doesn't necessarily have to be on the true Arbor Day of April uh, because they encourage, you know, plant tree and promote the trees. So. We I've talked to uh, the lady in Frankfurt, and we were looking at setting the date of October 23rd, which is a Friday, late October planting season kind of thing. So we would like to go ahead and uh, approve that resolution. Move to approve the Arbor Day resolution. Second. We have a motion and second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. David, do you have anything? Yeah, I have a couple things. Um, last month we talked about 23 being down. I got with them the fire equipment that you got up for two folks. Um, yeah, I got copies. 
Um, one is for parts, and one is parts and labor. Um, the part, I think it's forty-seven dollars, and the labor with the part is four hundred forty-seven dollars. He said the labor should be less. He suspects because that's just the worst-case scenario. Depending if he runs an issue as far as working on it. We need to get that truck back on, so I'd like to see this purchased. And we might have to put in some, I'd like to. Hmm? It's this one. Yeah. To so approve the 479 14, I move to approve that uh, quote from Finley. Second. We have a motion and second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. And then to give you guys an update, last, last meeting Larry asked the commission vote to approve the process of just checking the truck out. Um, I have met with Keith Puckett, who is the sales rep for Pierce Manufacturing. Um, he's provided us with a basic spec sheet. They just kind of a guide to go off of. We established a truck committee, sat down and kind of went through and seen some things that we could take out that wasn't needed. And then some things that we would have to add. Like one of the things we'd have to add, for instance, this truck is spec a 750 gallon tank. The way our SO ratings work, we run off of three engines with 1,000 gallons. So there's a few little minor details like that back and forth. Um, this is just the starting. We're going to look at also other trucks and different ways to do things. But this kind of gives us a starting point to go off of. He gave us a rough estimate. It was about where I told you guys it would be about 450 or so. It was about what the piece of spec you need to be at. So I've got copies of those if anybody wants to look at them. Like I said, it's just a starting point kind of thing to give us a guideline to go off of. And the other thing is, is in the past our boat was declared surplus. We sold. We've seen, especially with what we had a couple weeks ago or a week ago, that it's a need. Um, the boat's been down for a long time, and it was declared surplus, so we wasn't obviously going to put any money into the trap fix and get it up and going. Um, we've looked into the boat. It's looking like it needs a water pump and a battery. I would like to know if it was possible if we could remove that boat from surplus and get it back in service. You know, Rochester, damn, they're doing a lot of upgrades to it. They're in the process. When they get done, they'll have a boat ramp down there. We're also, there's only two departments in the county that actually have a boat. It's us and Harper. So with us having going to have river access and the situation we had down here in South Lafayette area, along with all the people out here under the cover, um, my personal opinion, I think the boat getting rid of it would be a disservice. But I know it was declared surplus, so I don't know how that exactly works. If I'm going from memory, wasn't there somebody, another department was wanting it too, weren't they? And then that fell through. I think Chris was willing to trade it for a box trailer or something. You know, just because it's declared surplus, it's still our property. You know, we don't have to. Okay. So we don't have to do anything. We can just. I don't think so, do we? It's still our property. What's the question? Number if something three. we've declared surplus, do we have to declare it back in service again, or can we just go ahead and put it back in service? What have what we done at this point? It's, it's, it's declared in, it's declared out of service because it's, it's they had some work to be done on it. What they're wanting to do now is go ahead and do the work on it and put it back in service. It was declared surplus. We had another agency who was interested in it, so we declared it surplus, but then that deal, for whatever reason, fell okay. through. We never did was able to get so, rid of it. Now they're wanting to go ahead and plan on keeping it. Did the... the does, City take an official action on it? Just to uh, declare it surplus. I'd do, I'd, I would do the same thing. I'd, I'd pass a motion. If what you want to do, do is take it out, use it. And yeah, I'd declare it back in service. I, I, I would just declare it back in service. Be the easiest way. So, I'll make a motion that we remove the boat from surplus and uh, put it, repair it and put it back in service. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. 
Motion passed. Mike? Testing here. James? I'm good. I'm fine. Nothing tonight. I'm good. I took Larry up and we did looked at some things up at the cemetery last week, got those taken care of, and everything else is going good. We haven't had anything going on at the park, so I can't. Yeah. That's yeah, not that's going true. on down there. What is this? Oh, that's, we're officially get to that. I just have one thing I'd like to do. We have, uh, and I was supposed to do it last month, and I'll be honest with you, I, I think it was that day I actually got everything finalized, or maybe the next day, because David and I have been working on it. Uh, an attorney for uh, code enforcement, and I just need approval of that. I've talked with Travis Johnson, and he's, he's agreed to do it, and it's a $250 per hour rate. They do charge at the 10 minute intervals. And it's, it's an as-needed thing. Frank Martin had done it for years. And, of course, he's retired. Right. And it's something we're not allowed. Our city attorney's not allowed to do it. It's got to be something separate. So, And I don't think he wanted to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but Travis was willing to do it. So I just need approval of that so we can get that lodged in minutes. I make a motion we accept Travis to do it. Second. have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Uh, Post saying that motion passes. Larry? Yes, I got a couple things in the closed session for this employee. Okay. Does this. What about this? Uh, oh. Yeah. This thing, you know, we're not charging, we're not doing disconnects on horse horses, uh, we're not charging penalties. This is a list of people that are uh, in the rears. One month, two months, three months. We're reading Wednesday this week, so there's going to be some in the four month range. Some have has not even attempted to pay any. We've had a couple to actually move on, and you know we're still stuck with the bill. So this this is what we're looking at. Uh, when when we do get to the disconnect, what's our process going to be? I, I understand if they call and make for arrangements. Arrange we'll we'll do payments for them, but. It's almost seven thousand dollars. Yep. Yep. Well, I thought the governor removed the stipulation about evictions. Is that not included in that? So we could do it. I don't disconnect. I think he's. I, well, I read that in one of the papers that he would. I think Indiana has, right? Because I was hoping he would. I don't, but I don't think he has. Okay, well, maybe we can better. double check that, but I don't think he has. Uh, and he, he's not going to pay us for it. Uh, I would like to see us, any of them that don't look at small claims action. It's not fair to the, all the other ratepayers that are paying their water bill. I mean, we're trying to do something to help people. Uh, and like I said, we've already had two move off, so you know they're not going to attempt it unless we... So we would need that in the form of a motion if once everything goes back in and of course the two and maybe three we know of that have moved off i'd like to see uh, us approve the, to take small claim action against any of them well i mean this one is really high i mean i don't mean to be compared to the others this one's really really high is that a business which one in the three months the number six two now it is a business the that is a business. The number two the is a residential. Wow. And did I write that on you I paid $314 and I just make that note on mine? That was one day oh, okay. last week. That's a residential. That's the residential one? After I made this. The residential one made a the payment? The number two made me a payment of 314 Oh, okay. That helps. So, but the number six is a business. Is that the one we talked about? South yes. End. Yeah. Huh? The South End? Mm-hmm. They've not even made an attempt. They're closed. They're closed. That business is closed. If they're closed, could, is it they have an automatic water bill come out minimum or something? Or they're still getting. And actually, they've had a little bit of usage. I don't know if there's ice machine hooked up or what's causing that usage. But I mean, they're not getting nothing near what they would if they were open. Right. But, I think it's for sale, and I think in their rule that they want your utilities on when you got something. For Probably because it costs so much to rehook it up. Yeah. So. 
Well, Avi, let me ask you this. The governor had the emergency that we could not turn utilities off. And would that go for a business as well? I can understand a residential, but would that include a business? I, I don't remember exactly exactly what he said. Um, if if he didn't specifically reference residential customers and just said all water customers, by example, okay, it would include it would include businesses as well, but it shouldn't. Really shouldn't, yeah. because the ones you're trying to protect. Right, and, and I understand that. That's yeah, yeah, the residential customers. Probably. In fact, I think we were doing it before he. That first month, he, we were doing it before he put it in his mandate. But. And I don't know whether it's been it's been changed. In other words, where he's put removed it. The last I heard, it hadn't been, because that's one of the big things that on the KLC meetings and stuff we have that's one of the big discussion items because all these mayors are having the same problem they've got and a lot of them have a lot more money than this tied up and they're starting to question you know what when do these people are these people kept the same position all the way across like number six is number six yeah. all the way across no, no. 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 I'm sorry I, not to my knowledge. Have we ever taken? Not in my case. No. We never have. The two that's already gone, gone move, we would have taken the small planes. But one issue we have with that is they just, like the one that I found last week that I sent Travis to go check, and I guess they actually spoke with the people to find out this is a new crew that's just moved in. So they went ahead and turned the water off. And the post office had mailed me their bill back with the little yellow sticker giving me moved, left without no warning. Address. So therefore, I have no warning address for these people. So I don't know where to find them in order to try to take them to court. Well, we may not be able to, but it, but we have to approve it here before we can even look yeah. to attempt it. What about, don't we still have that, don't we have an agreement with Hartford and stuff on turning water on, checking it? I think it's Hartford, sir. Hartford is the but, but I know we can't take them if we didn't approve it here. That's what we were just trying to get everybody's inclination on what they thought. And that business is for sale. And are they not? We don't know whether to take care of any of their utilities. I don't know about like their electric or anything else. I don't know. I, I just because they can't, they can't turn it off either. Yeah, that's if why if I don't I don't understand though carrying that much of a bill on somebody and, and them not making any kind of effort. Yeah, Mary, the the business when the seven thirty nine that's the total for three months, right? Three months. They're three plus months behind the ones in that column. And keep in mind, you notice your little date there. It's in the corner of my paper. Y'all's is bigger. But I did this last week. So as of today, technically, July bill is owed and it's not included in any of these amounts as well. No, I know. But that 739, that includes month one, month two, and month three total. It's probably going to include March, April, May, what? June. No, I, I know, but it's not seven hundred thirty-nine dollars for one month, and no, then his no, no. column he's under column two as well. No, no, no. That's what I thought. I think that's what James was. No, right. he's under column two. Yeah. Column, column three is all about sales. Column three is all people that's three months or more. I know, but if if you first look at it, and that was the first thing I thought too. Okay, these well, people are three months wrong. behind. Well, that means they're also two months behind. Right. That's why I was asking: is that a lump sum total for all three months? No. Well, it, but only in this one column. Yes. All that yeah, and then in the two months, that's a lump sum for two months, and this is the one individual month of bills. Since the corona hit. Uh -huh. I said some people hadn't paid it since the corona hit. No. I mean, considering the number of active accounts we got, if you notice, yeah, it's not our bad. numbers are pretty good, to be honestly. Two percent? A little over two percent. 
but we feel I don't care if that's the motion as soon as we can take them to fall claim for them. But if that's possible. I say there may be something you may not find, you may not be able to, but know, we can't do it at all if we don't I know, I'll, approve I'll this. I know, I'll as soon as okay. we're able to take them to the plane. All they do is tell us no. We have a motion on the floor. I'll second to We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor or signify the aye? Aye. Opposed the same? Motion passes. Anything else before we do the closed session? Okay. We need a motion to go to closed session. I'll make a motion to go to closed session. Second. Oh, uh, so you can show you grant me one of your seats. I move to go back and open session. Second. We have a motion and second. And we're back in open session. We, discussed, we did discuss personnel issues. Of course, no business was conducted in that open session. So, All right. make that motion? Mm -hmm. we need uh, I want to make a motion to hire Mark Crow, effective as soon as he can get here. Uh, starting at a rate of twelve, was it? Twelve dollars. I'm sorry. For a sanitation department. Second. We have a motion seconding further discussion. Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. Motion for what was it, Zach? Zach Ball. Zach Ball. And he would start at 1050, go to 11 after 90 days. No. 1050. 1050 straight up. And will he be on sanitation also? Sanitation. Second. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Uh, we have a motion and seconding for the discussion. And I will point out, just for your case, the 1050, the, the difference in Mark has got a CDL license. So that's that's why there's a <laughs> variation there. Variation in the. Okay, uh, motion is second. Uh, those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Cox. Second. We have a motion second. Any further discussion? Okay. Uh, whenever as soon as possible. Right. Yeah, as soon as possible because he may have, I don't know if he's working tomorrow, so we have to give him notice or not, but he may need to. So. Uh, motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Do you have anything else to bring up? Make a motion with Joe. Both applications says any time, so we've got it covered. Thank you all very much. Let me know when you want to sign that.